This video will demonstrate how to set up a PettyCash account and to enter some PettyCash transactions in QuickBooks. We have a practical exercise. We've got three items to enter. First of all, we go to our home page. To create a account or an account, we go to Chart of Accounts. We click on Account and New. The type of account that we want to select is Bank because in bank this is where we will create a cash account such as petty cash it is deemed to be called a bank account so just click on continue and again it, the type of account is bank we will call this account petty cash if there is an opening balance of course you can click on this button to enter it but in this case there isn't we'll just click on save and close and now we will see in our chart of accounts we now have a bank account which is our current account but we also have a petty cash account as well now click on home in order to enter these we will go to the banking area which again is where we can write checks for an expense or to record cash transactions when we click on the write check icon we are brought into a new area again this is the check which gets the source information and then we have to tell QuickBooks where we want it. The bank account now has a drop down option by clicking on this we will select the petty cash account. The petty cash account and turn off this message we have a zero balance and again it's defaulting at the first transaction. So again if we were to use a tab key transaction number one or we're calling it in our exercise PC1 the date 14 the 1st and again it says milk tea coffee and sugar let's uh, generalize this and we'll call it canteen expenses and that will be what we will be using moving forward as the actual payee click on tab quick add and the account type is we'll say other and the amount is 22 euro and again you use your tab key to bring it now into the actual chart of accounts in QuickBooks and this is where we're going to post the amount and again let's set up an expense account called Canteen Expenses we can see it's already there we don't have any VAT so we'll just say it's zero rated or out of the scope of that and that's the transaction done once it's done click Save and Close when we go back into our chart of accounts we can see now that there is a balance in our petty cash of minus 22 euro. Double click on that and we can see the transaction there as well. At any time you can go back to your home page, click on write checks, click on previous to bring in the previous one in order of how it is written by date. That is how you enter petty cash transactions in QuickBooks.